When welcoming a new puppy or kitten into your home, a little extra effort early on can go a long way. If you haven't done so already, be sure your home is puppy or kitten proofed. Store hazardous objects out of reach, and even then, keep a close eye on your pet. Fences and gates can help reduce wandering, and crates are great for when you're away. Introduce your pet to their crate gradually and leave it in an accessible area so they can become comfortable inside. Don't use a crate for punishment. Crates are a valuable tool, but only if your pet sees a crate as a safe place. Crate training can also be helpful with housebreaking dogs, which is something you're probably already working on. Keep in mind, housebreaking is a process. Be patient and stick to a routine. The best time to create good habits and healthy boundaries is while your pet is young. Get started with training now to help address or avoid common issues down the road. Here are some resources we recommend that use positive reinforcement training techniques. Provide healthy outlets for natural behaviors like scratching and chewing. And be sure your pet gets plenty of exercise, both physically and mentally. There are a lot of myths and misconceptions about pet food. Consult with us while making decisions about what to feed your pet and how much. Pet care costs can add up quickly, especially if an unexpected accident or illness were to occur. Pet insurance and wellness plans help provide peace of mind, especially while your puppy or kitten is exploring their new world. Insurance policies initiated early in life are typically the most economical. Introducing your pet to new experiences early in life can influence how they respond later to other pets, children, even the mailman. Before venturing with them around town, check with us to be sure the timing is right, both developmentally and with their vaccination schedule. It's also a good idea to create positive associations with preventive care and grooming early in life. Start slow and reward progress with lots of affection and treats. Continuing these routines into adulthood will help protect your pet from potential problems and make vet visits more enjoyable. Speaking of veterinary care, we love providing puppies and kittens with the care they need. This starts with vaccines, which protect your pet against diseases like rabies, distemper, parvovirus, and hepatitis. Other vaccines may also be recommended based on your pet's needs and lifestyle. After an initial vaccination, many vaccinations require booster doses. We'll keep track of all this for you and we'll remind you when boosters are necessary. Spaying and neutering prevent unwanted offspring and also have some potential behavioral and health benefits. Let's discuss the right time to spay or neuter your pet. Microchipping your pet greatly increases the chance of your pet returning home if they become lost. But even microchip pets should continue to wear a breakaway collar or identification tag at all times. Welcoming a new pet into your home is something that affects your whole household, so be sure to involve all your housemates in your new pet's care. Your new pet will benefit from the consistency, and it just might bring your household closer. And remember, we're part of your pet parenting team as well, so don't hesitate to reach out when you need a little extra help.